Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Raw, and we are playing Criminal Case Travel in Time, Case 4, a Greek tragedy. Let's talk Chapter 2, and that god wants to arrest us for absolutely no reason. Did you say Theophilos? I just mentioned him, so. You're the people who were at his home when I arrested him. Tell me why I should not arrest you two as well. Uh, because we are investigating the murder, and because I think we are supposed to be your superiors since we are Romans. Wait, Romans. We are Romans the Juniors, and we are only talking to Felfius to interrogate him. It's still possible he's innocent, we are working to uncover all the facts. I will not release Theophilus until I see proof that he is innocent. But, Pelagios was a mysterious man as well. He probably has some secrets buried in the temple garden outside. Interesting, Tria. I think that God just gave us a new place to search for clues. Let's check out the temple garden. Ah, oh, it's this dude getting modeled. But he's not really handsome, no. Let's go without it. Well, Kataria, let's keep this quick. We don't want that god interrupting our investigation again. The drawing of this papyrus scroll looks like a monk shoot blum. Monk shoot was a poison the cure used on the arrow. There's more written on here, but it's faded. Let's take out the rest. And I agree, this amphora caught my eye too. The people look strangely familiar. This deserves a closer look. Okay. Okay, first let's see. Let's see what else is on this papyrus. Yeah, a text I can't understand and, it, and it's not Latin. Katrina, there was much more writing about the poison that killed Pelagios than we saw at first. This is too much to type into the tablet. Let's get this to Penel for translation. Okay. Now let's see who are these people. Oh, it's Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. Oh. Wait, but that is the first time that we identify two people at once. This is the first time. Ktria, the couple that picked up the Amphora are Mark Antony and Cleopatra. Oh, right. I remember learning that after Caesar's death, Mark Antony visited Egypt and began a torrid love affair with Cleopatra. In fact, that's what began the conflict between Mark Antony and Octavia, because Octavian claimed the affair was proof of Mark Antony betraying the people of Rome. When you last saw Mark Antony, he was in Gaul. It's 37 BCE, and if my history is correct, he's heading back to Egypt to see Cleopatra now. It's possible he's passing through Greece on his way. Let's find Mark Antony and see if he knew our victim. Okay. Oh, just him. No Cleopatra. Hm. Centuria Katrina. Had no idea you were you were redeployed to Greece. What a surprise to see you here. 
Yeah, I'm not happy to see you, dude. We are investigating the murder of a local priest named Pelagios. Did you know him, sir? No, I never saw the man. I've only just stopped in Greece to get a souvenir for my queen. My next destination is Egypt to gather my forces for further conquests. Yeah, a conquest. I hear you've been in Rome. Why did you see there? What is that vessel, Weasel Octavian getting up to? I don't like both of you, so... Oh, we didn't see much. Octavian held some gains. He paraded the Gallic spoils of war in the streets. The usual. <laughs> Parading the spoils of war from Gaul? You mean my spoils from my war? Octavian never missed the opportunity to lay claim to another man's victory. The snake. At my earliest opportunity, I'll be sure to remind who the true champion is between us. Good luck finding the killer of that priest. I have no time to piffle about on this matter with you. I must prepare for my voyage to Egypt. But you are supposed to stay here because you are a suspect. And you don't know that. Let's check out this text on the papyrus. I hope Kai pulls through. Janice is doing her best, but he doesn't seem to be getting any better. I know. If we weren't stuck in 37 BCE, we could take it to the hospital. But for now, we gotta make a do with the resources we have. Speaking of which, one of our resources is being held as a potential murderer, and we gotta solve the case. Were you able to translate the text on that papyrus scroll? Yes, but I had to do a little extra research to figure out what it meant. The notes detail a method to get the plant's poison to easily adhere to the curious arrowhead. It requires a chemical process to turn the substance into a paste, then to smear it onto the arrow. But the most important thing in the is that your killer knows chemistry. Well, back then chemistry. Well, Katria, once we identify our killer, we'll be happy to serve as the binding agents. If that's supposed to be something from chemistry, I don't know it because... I don't know, but I don't know, chemistry, biology, nor physics. I'm those, I'm not good at these subjects, so... Well, Ktria, that scroll you found is certainly a big step in the right direction. And now that we we'll learn more about our kill, we can learn more about our victim. Let's revisit the temple. Okay. Okay, let's visit the temple again. Mm, no, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna use it for the first time if I fail this. Okay, click on it. Like a boss. Good eye, Katia. This looks like pieces of a bass relief. But why is it broken? Let's reassemble it. And this small chest could hold something important to the case. Crack the code and we'll see what's inside. Okay, let's let's unlock this box first. Jeez. Uh, I looked at the wrong one. Uh, uh. No, it was four. Okay, what's that? You got the chest open. Wow, and look at this fancy bowl. Looks like some kind of ceremonial item. 
Ah, oh, you're right, there's a name here, but it's hard to read. If you figure out the name, it will tell us whose ball this is. What was Savafrig? Okay, let's reassemble this. Okay. That statue. Is there something weird about it? This is a vast relief of Zeus that someone had broken Ecteria. I'd imagine the priest wouldn't have taken kindly to such sacrilege. Let's try to the deer to find who broke it. It could give us a fresh lead. But yeah, there's nothing weird about the picture, but it's just weird that it was broken. Why? Okay, let's see whose name is on this box. Uterpe. What? Is that a name? Ktria, they were the ceremonial bowl is Uterpe. She must have worked with Pelagios in the temple. Ah, she's a woman. Let's go see what we can learn from Uterpe. Sorry to think this is where we got the name Europe. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to Uterpe. Centurions, have you got to pay respect to the great Zeus? Um, no. Actually, we are here investigating the murder of High Priest Pelagios. Pelagios was murdered? But he told me only a short time ago that he was ascending up Paul's stairway to pray. I expected him back any minute. Pelagios was our link to the gods. That link has been severed, and we are adrift without the beacon. What was your relation to Belagius here in the temple? I am his apprentice. As such, it is now up to me to guide our people in this troubled time. I will nourish them with wisdom and tzatziki so that they might feel warm and full in this cold. Please excuse me, Centurius. I must go prepare a sacrament for Pelagios' passage into Elysium. Okay, you only eat tzatziki, so nothing else. You're not suspicious. Not yet. Let's check out this bass relief of Zeus. Who broke it? I'm worried about Kai, Katria. What if he can't repair the time machine and get us back home? Well, all that matters now is that he... He recovers from his illness. Tio, at this point I'm more worried about Kai dying than anything else. You're right, Zara. I'm sorry. That was insensitive of me. What can you tell us about the broken bass relief Katria found? Well, in looking at the bass relief, I found traces, three substances that were clearly left when the individual threw it on the ground. What were the substances? I found some gold, tin, and iron dust. A bit of sodium chloride mixed in as well. These are all substances that an ancient chemist might use. I hate to say it, Katria, but you're right. Theophilus is a doctor and obviously fits this profile. He admitted to having disputes with the victim of religion versus science. It makes sense that he broke the past relief. We must have another word with Theophilus. Okay, guard, you're not gonna stop me. Let's go talk to Theophilus. Sejuri Katania. How is your investigation progressing? I cannot stand it in some part prisons at Siki for much longer. Teofilos, things between you and Pelagios were far more heated than you led us to believe. What drove you to break a bass, bass relief in his temple? Pelagios caused a harm far worse than some broken stone. A disease was rampant here not long ago. I did my best to treat the guests, but Pelagios forbade the people to seek medical help and ordered them to simply to pray. And those who fell ill died. Now, I ask you, 
How does one stone carving wave against the loss of so many lives? Pelagios is lucky I only broke a stone carving. I'm a brilliant boxman. I could have run him through if I so wished. You should have said that. And who would have died believing he was struck down by a bolt from Zeus, the imbecile? I hope you don't let your anger get the best of you, because if you kill Pelagios, that spells doom for you and us. Oh no, I don't want him to be the killer because we need him to help Kai. Well, Ktria, we managed to dodge the city guard's suspicion while investigating High Priest Pelagios' murder. I just hope we can solve this one in time before they condemn Theophilos. We need him to cure Kai. But you're right, it's clear Theophilus deeply hates the victim. Do you suppose his rage could reach a murderous level? So far, he's the only one showing any real malice toward the victim. Otherwise, we met the victim's apprentice, and we happened to find Mark Anthony here in Greece, but neither of them have clear motives for murder. We're going to have to do more digging if... Attention populace, it is I, Solon, returning victorious. I obtained the mighty Cerberus, the tree-headed guardian of the underworld. So what, you're Hercules? Well, you do look like you could be Hercules, but... I don't think you are, your name is Soton. Alright, we gotta start here again, continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank for watching. I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!